From things that can fly to things that make you feel like you're the biggest kid on the block, join me as I reveal to you nine of the coolest toys you can buy. Number 9. German Tiger Tank Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to bring in the tanks. Now, for all of you out there who want to pilot a real tank, there are plenty of places in the world that will allow you to do just that. Pilot a real tank under the supervision of experts and, uh, have a blast. But if you want a tank at home, more or less, then I'd recommend the German Tiger Tank. This is a 1 8 or 1 6 scale version of an actual tank, and the designers made sure that this model was as lifelike to a tank as possible. For example, while it is RC, it can go through all sorts of terrain via its treads. It can actually fire bullets via its turret. To be clear, it's BBs, not full-on bullets, and you can raise or lower to ensure your shot. It has the ability to change treads should you need them, have 360-degree mobility with its turret, and so much more. For all intents and purposes, this is a tank. And that still only scratches the surface of it all. The German Tiger tank may only last about 50 minutes at full charge, but it has the power to both move you around while you're standing on top of it and have the ability to pull a car, which is both awesome and a great way to make an epic entrance whenever you feel the need. It also comes with a smoke generator and sound effects to help it seem like it's really in a battlefield. Sure, it may cost you about $5,000, but for the chance to truly own a tank without all the bulk and destructive firepower, worth it. 8. Drones While they may not be everywhere like pundits have stated they would be by now, drones are still very popular. These flying machines are simple in nature, complex in design, and are built in such a way that there are various levels of function that can be had with them depending on what you want them for. For example, if you're just a kid and you want to have your own flying machine, there are small drones that won't cost you much, are easy enough to pilot, with some practice of course, and you'll get to fly around and test your piloting skills from a remote control. If you're looking for something a little more expensive, there are kit drones that you yourself can put together and then use for a wide variety of functions. For example, many shows on TV nowadays use drones to get overarching shots of the world or areas that shows take place in. After all, drones are able to carry a lot of weight and thus can hold a camera with ease if positioned right. So imagine being able to take breathtaking videos of your hometown or a place you're going on vacation to. The possibilities are there. And that's still only scratching the surface of what these drones can do. The military has their own kind of drones that they're outfitting to do missile strikes, recon missions, and more. There's even a variation of a drone that has it both fly and roam on the ground like a tank. Because they're so adaptable, it makes their possibilities almost infinite, which is why they're so cool and why many think that they're going to be in great numbers all over the world in the next few years. Number 7. Monster Trucks Now, technically speaking, not unlike drones, there are many different kinds of monster truck toys you can buy, including the basic RV models that you can get for yourself and even kit models that will allow you a little more destructive potential all of which is very nice and cool. But if we're talking about the coolest toys ever, you need to go for the actual monster trucks that are out there in the world. Yes, I'm talking about the raging behemoths that tear up dirt tracks, do incredible flips and tricks despite their size, and get the crowds at their events all sorts of fired up. Hey, I hear what you're saying. Come on, man, those monster trucks aren't toys and you can't own one. Well, yes and no. Technically, they aren't toys, but what is a toy outside of an item you can have fun with? You can bet the drivers of a monster truck have fun in their rides. It's almost a job requirement. And as for ownership, you can own one, in many ways actually. First, you can buy one or have one made for you. The average cost is about 150 grand, so like many toys, it won't be in the range for everyone. However, it is possible. And once you own it, you can do what you want with it within reason as long as you have the proper place to drive in, which isn't unlike certain kinds of race cars. 
Besides, who hasn't wanted to drive these massive monster trucks and stylize them to be super powerful, epic looking, and more? And if you still don't believe me, they even gave McGruff the Crime Dog a monster truck. And he's a crime stopper, so if he can have one, anyone can have one. 6. Traxxas XO1 Sticking with the vehicles for a second, let's talk about an actual RC vehicle that you could own. Granted, it will cost you some serious money to get it, but when you do, you'll literally see how good your money was spent as this car burns rubber. While the Traxxas XL1 may be a simple RC car in look, it's actually the fastest RC vehicle on the market right now. But what does that mean, you ask? How fast can this thing really go? Well, if you're lucky, a basic RC car can go a couple dozen miles per hour, as it's meant for fun and safety of the children. The Traxxas XL1? It can go over 118 miles per hour, including going from 0 to 100 in just 5 seconds. For the record, there are many regular cars that can't go that fast or pick up speed that quickly. If you own this cool toy, you are basically the owner of a supercar. Imagine racing other people's toy RC cars and just blowing them out of the water without much effort. Or taking this to an RC track and just tearing it up at blinding speeds. That's what you're getting with this car. And like a real supercar, the Traxxas X01 has all-wheel drive to ensure that it sticks to the terrain. Oh, and the best part? It runs on a pure electric motor, so you won't have to worry about polluting the environment. So, pony up about $800 and this RC car is yours to race. Number 5. Force Band for BB-8 Droid Anyone who knows the Star Wars franchise knows that one of the coolest things in the universe is the droids, which come in all sorts of shapes, sizes, colors, and functions, and everyone wants one for themselves. True to form, Lucasfilm and various toy companies have come together to give you RC versions of classic droids, but with the new trilogy and rise of BB-8, they wanted to make something a little more special, specifically the Force Fan. The name is pretty on the nose. Basically, it's a wristband that'll let you control your BB-8 droid simply by motioning with your hand. You know, like you're using the Force, and it'll work with many different models of the BB-8 droid. Though, if you don't have one, it can come bundled with one if you want. Not just that, the wristband features many other things, including the use of sound effects to really help you feel like a Jedi, as well as being able to sync up to your phone to play various mini-games so you can unlock even more capabilities on the device. So, if you've been looking for a droid that doesn't just move around, but moves around at your command, literally, you'll want to get this cool toy! 4. Jet Foiler Hydrofoil When it comes to watercraft, there are many different ways you can go. There are plenty of jet skis, boats, speedboats, and even water-powered jetpacks. Seriously, you won't be needing to look very hard if you want to find something cool to ride the water on. But, if you're looking for a cool and unique experience, then you'll need to try out the Jet Foiler Hydrofoil. Why is that? Because this is a surfboard with an electric-powered engine that'll literally have you riding above the water while still technically being in it. It may look like an optical illusion when you see the Jet Foiler Hydrofoil going through the waters, but it's not. The motor is powerful enough to lift you and the board you stand on up out of the water making it so you're cutting through the ocean or beach you're on without having to worry about your board bouncing through the water. Also, the motor is so powerful that it can go up to 25 miles per hour. That's pretty fast considering all that it's doing. The manufacturers note that it's easy to control and guide and it keeps you pretty steady. Plus, you can get a different size of board so that you can ride the craft with more than one person on it. And since it's a surfboard, you'll be able to go surfing USA or beyond without fear of the waves bringing you down or the weather making the water be super flat. One caveat, this is a toy for those who have money to burn because they can cost anywhere from $2,000 to over $12,000. Number 3. VR Headset The world of video games is honestly more of a universe these days as there are multiple companies vying to be the best gaming experience out there. Heck, even Google is getting in on the action with the Stadia system, and of course, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo are still holding down the fort with their consoles and handheld systems. 
but even they acknowledge that the future of gaming may not be what you put in your hands, but with what you put on your head, meaning VR. There are various VR headsets out there in the world right now, the Oculus, the PSVR, even a VR headset that can be done with the Nintendo Labo of all things. But regardless of which one you get for yourselves, the experience speaks for itself. Because when you play a basic video game, you're trying to imagine what it would be like to see it all in first person, meaning through your own eyes. Even first person shooters and adventure games can't nail that experience. But with VR, you are the controller. You turn your head to see the world around you like it's really right there. You move your hands and body to control your character and sometimes even the world. And with every advance in technology, the VR headsets of the world get more refined, more powerful, and more in touch with your motions. What's not to love? And of course, the more this advances, the closer we get to holodeck technology like in Star Trek. I'm just saying. Best part, VR headsets are relatively cheap. You can get one for a couple hundred bucks and get a game included in it. 2. Vertigo Pogo Okay, I know what you're thinking. Are you kidding me? How is a pogo stick a cool toy? And you're right, the basic form of the pogo stick is only fun when you're a kid, but when you're a little more grown up, you can get the Vertigo Pogo Stick. What's the difference? Well, you can bounce this one not only in multiple directions, but you can go up to 10 feet in the air. No, really? How is that possible? It's honestly really simple. While basic pogo sticks are set to a certain standard in regards to jumping strength, the Vertigo Pogo has an air spring and compressor within it. You will literally be able to control the air pressure within the pogo stick so that you can go higher or lower depending on your skill level. And when you've mastered it, it's basically an extreme sports vehicle, including people doing tricks that you'd expect to see from the X Games. Oh, but if you're a beginner, this is still a pogo stick you can use. You adjust it to your size and abilities, and you'll not go higher than a couple inches. So it's a true pogo stick for the whole family. Number 1. Power Up FPV So earlier I talked about having drones in a VR headset, but what happens when you put those two together? Easy! You get the Power Up FPV. This toy is cool for the simplest of reasons. The device has three parts, a cardboard cutout to put your phone in so you can control the drone playing like a VR game, a mechanical propeller unit that you put on it to get it to fly, and paper. No, really, this is literally a thing that has you making a paper airplane then strapping some tech onto it to make it fly. So why the VR headset? That's because the mechanical gear you strap on, which is lightweight for the record, has a camera that allows you to see what your drone plane is doing while in the air and you control it by tilting your head around. The best part? Even if you crash it, which the maker says is really hard, you don't have to worry about anything but the paper, which you can substitute really easily. Thanks for watching, everyone! What did you think of these really cool toys? Which one of these do you really want to own now? Or do you already own one? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.